Hey guys, welcome back to Hyperfix Garage. Today we are on our way to the Honey Hole. It is a huge uh, junkyard that has a bunch of stuff and David just gave me a call and let me know that there's a 280 up there. It's got a front bumper. Uh, it's got a good hood so we wouldn't have to do any body work on that. It's got pretty much all the interior and the transmission for it. Um, so we are actually on the way there. Um, Amanda's inside getting us drinks right now because it is a super hot day outside. Uh, the Jeep is saying it is 88 degrees right now but it is super humid but we're gonna go out there and try to see if we can get the front bumper and all the pieces for that because right now our 280 does not have that and see what all few parts we can scrounge up while we're there um and i guess we'll just pop up when we get there and i'll kind of show you around the car and see what we can grab off of it we've made it back from the junkyard and as you can see we have this front bumper on it was super easy to put on thankfully there's just a few bolts there uh it goes one two three and then same thing on this other side there's four but i only have three in right now because right now it's just mocked up basically at the junkyard these bolts down in here rusted through so when I was trying to get them off, they broke. So I'm still trying to figure it out um, how I can get this replaced because it's supposed to go through this hole and bolt from the other side to keep this stable. But right now it's just eating up the primer that we have here and I don't want that to happen so we don't have any rust. I did that on both sides, but thankfully we finally have turn signals. So we have our right and left turn signals. The other ones were just dangling there because there was no bumper for them to go into. And all we had to do was unplug them and plug them in here and both of them work. The bulbs work. Now I do plan on probably replacing those bulbs to LEDs. Um, same thing I'm going to do with the headlights, but it's on here and it's going to be awesome. Now, the cool thing about these bumpers though, are when you hit something, these go under the headlight housings there and there's a bunch of room, um, which the hood at the end actually kind of comes up over there. So if you tap something, these are shocks, so it's gonna push those in before it starts pushing the rest of the car in. So you can get in a pretty small accident and everything end up being okay. You might have a little bend here where this mounts, but these, as you can see, it's already cracked. So this pretty much breaks away. That just goes around there. We also have these bottom pieces that go around here and wraps all the way around the bottom that go there. But I think what I'm gonna go and do is I'm gonna put an air dam, which is basically the whole bottom piece. It'll fill it in real good. But finally, this front end is coming together with the hood. It is fantastic. With the hood, uh, we ended up getting a new hood. I'll have to go back in the back in a second to show you. But the reason I got a new hood is there's a bunch of Bondo here, and I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in previous videos, but that's a lot of body work to get back down to bare metal and to prime. And so I don't wanna have to deal with trying to get all this smooth and make it look like it did from the factory. The other hood that you'll see in the back is in a lot better condition. So let me go back there real quick and I'll show you guys. All right, guys, and here is the hood. Please disregard the mess. We're going over a few things right now and getting stuff cleaned up. And we have a big announcement about all of that at the end of the video. But this is the hood. The bottom side 
is pretty pristine. I don't see much rust on this side, really here along the edge, and that's all surface rust. So we can get that taken care of, no big deal. Um, we have this piece, which probably I can end up taking off here, um, but we have that on our other one. If anything, I can order a whole brand new one. Those can't be too expensive. And then it has the holes here for our vents. And then if we take a look here at the other side, it is in great condition. It's really dirty, but again, we only have the little issues here in the front, a little bit of surface rusting there, but there's no dents, no damages, and that's gonna make it so much easier for body work because all we'll have to do is strip this of paint, prime it, and throw it on the car. Additionally, we got a grill that's not broken. The car came with the grill, but it's broken and it was broken up here at that mounting point. So I just ended up getting the whole one from that car. Uh, it's a little dirty, but nothing a little bit of cleaning can do. And also I got this whole thing just in case, first of all, we need it. It doesn't have a radio, but what's awesome about it is it has the tracks for this uh, ashtray that I lost when taking the other one apart. So what I can do is take that tray out and put it in there because when we did it on our car, again, like I said, we lost the slides and right now it just totally comes out and it can fall out. So I wanna put the slides back in there so it slides in, slides out just like it needed to. It also has a stock cigarette lighter and what I might end up doing is cleaning this one up and using this instead of that one because the cigarette lighter place is broken on the other one and this one is still in good condition um it's a little dirty a little bit beat up um i also stole all the wiring for all of that um they did end up cutting this to take the radio out somebody else did but we have everything here that we need just in case um there were a bunch of other parts I could have stolen. There was an extra one of these. There was this, which ends up going to a fan, which I don't have in my engine bay right now. But this goes up and over and blows air on the fuel injectors to keep them cool, which is pretty cool. And lastly, I got a good emblem here because this one's been painted over a little bit. So there is a pretty good difference. Now this one could use a... A total update i should could have just bought a new one but for now that's cool if anything i can use it for a wall decoration because i'm good with that stuff but um yeah we we, we put that bumper on uh, and that's about all we're going to do to the car uh we had to pick up those pieces because they were there and uh, thankfully they were but real quick i'm gonna go ahead and sit down at the desk i do have a huge announcement for you guys which could be great for the channel so let me head upstairs real quick and we'll get into that all right guys so we have some huge announcements to make for the channel um and i know i haven't been posting videos weekly for a long time um probably about a month or two uh, again if you haven't watched my last update video the biggest issue with that is trying to find a place to do all the work that i want to do uh, because it's really hard to do in a driveway and it says on my lease that i'm really not supposed to be working on cars in the driveway so we've kind of been breaking the rules but at the same time what we've been doing isn't too big to where it's not something we can't do it's not going to disable the car for a long time so uh we we're okay with doing that but as far as taking the engine out taking subframes out stuff like that to really get in the nitty gritty and get this thing back to where it needs to be it's going to take a little bit more than doing in my driveway it also going to take a lot of money and time which right now we don't have a lot of which we are working on but we just had a huge opportunity come up i have a buddy who works as a mechanic and he works in this massive shop. It's basically a warehouse space and it's got over 50 classic cars of this caliber um, where it, I mean, it's full and every car needs something done to it. So I've been talking to him and what it looks like is we're gonna be able to go up there on weekends film videos with him and be able to work on so many different cars and have the opportunity to get a lot of content on some really, really cool cars, which I think you guys will all enjoy. Everything he's got a, I believe it's a 260Z up there that needs a lot of work. Um, old Challengers, Super Bs, Camaros, Monte Carlos. Uh, I know when I worked up there for a little bit, we did an Econoline 
um, a really, really old one. So there's so much to be done over there. There's so much stuff that we can do um, and it'll be really fun for me and hopefully you. Um, so we'll be able to walk through that warehouse, get a feel for exactly what you guys wanna see us work on. Uh, some of these cars run, some of these don't. So it's gonna be really fun trying to see if we can get certain cars to run. But uh, I mean, I mean, we've got huge projects and not a single car in there is not souped up. So that's really, really exciting. So basically the last thing is the Abarth that we just bought, we no longer own. I have given it back to the previous owner. Uh, we basically were buying it and it, for a steal. It was super cheap for us. Um, and the issue was he had no time uh, to, to work on it and to really get into it. After I spent some time after work getting into it, figuring out what was wrong with it, it was something super, super simple. And I mean, it, it fixed it and it took no money really to fix the part that needed to be fixed. I did put a little bit of money into it, but I put money into the wrong parts. And when we fixed it, it was super simple. It just started working. And I it didn't seem fair for me to keep it um, and and basically steal a totally fine working car from him. Um, we talked about it and we actually have another car that we're gonna get from him, which I'm gonna keep a surprise until we get it. Um, but we'll make a video on it and it'll be uh, basically to give you guys a spoiler, it'll be more of a tow build um, where it can do towing off road. It's a 90s um, vehicle. So if you guys have any guesses in the comments, leave them there and I can uh, let you know if you're right or wrong but we should be getting that this week. Um, so that's pretty cool. We also have some content planned for motorcycles. We all have motorcycles. So, you know, it's fun to go riding here and there. And why not make some content? Cause we're pretty goofy people. Um, so I figured it would be, it would just make sense. If you guys want to see some motorcycle content, uh, I'll have it out there for you. If that's something you guys don't want to see, leave in the comments. I won't waste my time. I won't waste your guys' time. Um, but I do want to know exactly what you guys want to see, especially out of my 280. And then once we actually have the video of walking through that entire warehouse, what you guys want to see us work on first. Uh, to give you a clue, the first car I believe we're going to try to work on is a 70s bug that right now does not start and run. So we got to get that thing started. So I believe that's going to be our first video. So I would watch out for that one. But I know this really didn't have a lot in this video. Uh, and we still plan on having more and more content, especially now that we're going to have a warehouse full of vehicles that have work that need to be done to them, as well as we're going to have more stuff going on with a 280. Now that we're able to start finding parts, uh, we've got more time. We're going to have a lot more uh, content on the other vehicle, uh, and it, we can have a lot of fun going up on the trails with Bailey and his Jeep, uh, stuff like that. So that's a huge spoiler right there and i hope you guys are excited to see what i've got coming because we've needed a tow rig we needed a truck style vehicle for a while um so we're we're going to be able to have that and make content for it but if you guys want to see videos on the 280 from where we started to where we are now we do have a playlist from beginning to end so you guys can view that there you guys can view anything we've done to her fiat um in its own playlist as well and you can see everything for that from here to there i know we're going to be installing a catch can that uh, goes on an abarth but she has a pop so it's na and it's got to be set up a different way so we're going to try to figure out how to do that it's really hot in this car i am about to sweat and die thank you guys for watching uh please stick around because there's some really really cool content coming i promise you and uh, i will hopefully see you guys in the next one